Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Using Transportation Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to get around in your target language? You can learn how. This new cheat sheet teaches you must-know vocabulary and phrases, like where can I buy a ticket, how much is the train pass, and much more. Second, the Ultimate Guide to Beginner Language eBook. Want a free way to boost your vocabulary? With this new PDF eBook, you'll master over 500 beginner words and phrases, more than enough to start speaking the language with confidence. Third, can you talk about holiday accommodations in your target language? Learn how to say hotel, guest house, in, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, most common ways to say sorry. Do you know all the ways to apologize in your target language? This one minute lesson will get them in your head, guaranteed. Fifth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who sees this video. If you watch this far, then here's a free bonus. We're giving all of our users free access to our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 40% off premium or premium plus with the Epic sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. This is Karen Lee, and she's in rainy Tokyo. She's on a long-distance call with Miki Mori, her former homestay mother. Miki asks, How's the weather? Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Once more with the English translation. How's the weather? It's rainy. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Mickey asks, How's the weather? First is Tenki Weather Tenki Tenki Next is the particle Wa The topic marking particle Wa It marks weather as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for the weather. After this is the word Do Meaning how in this context. Dou. Dou. After this is. This. In this case, it's like the is in how is. This. This. And last is. Ka. The question marking particle, which turns the sentence into a question. Ka. Altogether. Thank you, Ado desu ka? Literally means. As for the weather, how is? But translates as, how is the weather? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says, it's rainy? First is, rain. Me. Ame. Next is this. In this case, it's like the is in it is. This. Altogether, Ame this. literally means rain it is, but it translates as it's rainy. Ame this. this is the shortened version of Tenki wa ame this. Literally, as for the weather, it's rainy. Tenki wa ame this. The phrase, Tenki wa, as for the weather, is understood from the context of the conversation, so it is omitted. Altogether, it's, 
雨です。It's rainy. 雨です。The pattern is weather です。It's weather. Weather です。To use this pattern, simply replace weather with the local weather condition. Imagine you're in Sapporo and outside there is snow. Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Say, it's snowy. Ready? Yuki des. It's snowy. Yuki des. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Ame des. Ame des. Yuki des. Yuki des. Hare des. Hare des. Did you notice how I added the phrase Tokyo? Tokyo is rainy. Tokyo wa ame des. Literally means, as for Tokyo, rain it is. But it translates as, Tokyo is rainy. Tokyo wa ame des. The phrase, Tokyo wa. As for Tokyo, establishes Tokyo as the topic of the weather commentary that follows it. You should be aware of the longer pattern, but for this lesson, we'll use the shortened pattern. Let's review the key words. Hare. Sunny. Ha. Re. Hare. Kumori. Cloudy. Kumori. Kumori. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say rain? Ame. Ame. Do you remember how Karen Lee says it's rainy? Ame des. Do you remember how to say weather? Thank you. Thank you. An atopic marking particle? Wa. Wa. Do you remember how to say how? Do. Do. And a question marking particle? Ka. Ka. Do you remember how Miki Mori asks, How's the weather? Tenki wa do d e s k a Do you remember how to say sunny? Hare. Hare. And how to say cloudy? 
曇り。曇り。Do you remember how to say snow? 雪。雪。Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee in cloudy Tokyo. Respond to the question. Ready? Denki wa do desu ka? Kumori desu. Listen again and repeat. Kumori desu. Let's try another. Imagine you're Miki Mori in sunny Fukuoka. Ready? Tenki wa do desu ka? Hare desu. Listen again and repeat. Hare desu. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ken Kobayashi in snowy Sapporo. Ready? Tenki wa do desu ka? Yuki desu. Listen again and repeat. Yuki desu. This is the end of this lesson. Yakan Kettle Yakan Yakan Kettle Yakan ni Mizu o iremashita. I filled the kettle with water. Yakan ni Mizu o iremashita. 鍋 pot 鍋鍋 pot その鍋は十年ものです。That pot is ten years old. その鍋は十年ものです。カエル frog カエルカエル frog カエルは食べ物を取るのに舌を使います。Frogs use their tongues to catch food. カエルは食べ物を取るのに舌を使います。ハト。ピジョン。ハト。ハート。ピジョン。ハトに餌をやらないでください。Don't feed the pigeons. ハトに餌をやらないでください。ガイドブック。ガイドブック。ガイドブック。ガイドブック。ガイドブック。ガイドブックを持っていますか ?Do you have a guidebook? ガイドブックを持っていますか入り口 Entrance 入り口入り口 Entrance 入り口はどこですか Where's the entrance? 入り口はどこですかガイド Tour guide. 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 Tour guide. Hotel の入り口でガイドがお待ちしております。Your tour guide will be waiting for you at the entrance to the hotel. Hotel の入り口でガイドがお待ちしております。予約 
reservation. 予約予約 reservation. 予約のキャンセルをお願いします。Please cancel my reservation. 予約のキャンセルをお願いします。パスポート。パスポート。パスポート。パスポート。パスポート。パスポートを見せてください。Could you show me your passport, please? パスポートを見せてください。コンピューターサイエンス。コンピューターサイエンス。コンピューターサイエンス。コンピューターサイエンス。コンピューターサイエンス。生徒は全員コンピューターサイエンスの講義を受けなくてはいけません。All students have to take a computer science course. 生徒は全員コンピューターサイエンスの講義を受けなくてはいけません。数学 math. 数学数学 math. ここの数学は難しい。High school math is hard. 高校の数学は難しい。感じる。feel. 感じる。感じる。feel. 風がないのでなおさら暑く感じる。Since there's no breeze, it feels even hotter. 風がないのでなおさら暑く感じる。書く。draw. 書く。書く。draw. 新章風景を絵に書くことはできない。It is impossible to draw the scenery in one's mind's eye. 新章風景を絵に描くことはできない。計画、プラン。計画、計画、プラン。彼にはあさって大きな計画があります。He has big plans for the day after tomorrow. 彼にはあさって大きな計画があります。販売。セオ。販売。販売。セオ。電車の車内販売でお弁当を買った。I bought a box lunch from the sales cart on the train. 電車の車内販売でお弁当を買った。買い物、ショッピング。買い物、買い物、ショッピング。ちょっと買い物に付き合って。Will you go shopping with me? ちょっと買い物に付き合って。4番。Fourth. 四番四番 Fourth. 四番目のグループが勝ちました。The fourth group won. 四番目のグループが勝ちました。五番 Fifth. 五番五番 Fifth. 四番目の信号を右に曲がって、五番目の角までまっすぐ行ってください。Turn right at the fourth traffic signal. Go straight until the fifth corner. 四番目の信号を右に曲がって、五番目の角まで
まっすぐ行ってください。六番、six。六番、六番、six。六番目の方はどなたですか。Who is the sixth person? 六番目の方はどなたですか。七番、seventh。七番、七番、セブンス。そのピアニストの出番はプログラムの七番目だ。The pianist has the seventh spot of the program. そのピアニストの出番はプログラムの七番目だ。コンディショナー、コンディショナー、コンディショナー。コンディショナー。コンディショナー。いいコンディショナーは髪の絡まりを取る。A good conditioner will take the tangles out of your hair. いいコンディショナーは髪の絡まりを取る。デオドラント。デオドラント。デオドラント。デオドラント、デオドラント。体を洗った後、消臭用デオドラントを塗る。Put on deodorant after washing to avoid bad odor. 体を洗った後、消臭用デオドラントを塗る。液体石鹸。Liquid soap. 液体石鹸。液体石鹸。Liquid soap. 液体石鹸は蛇口の隣にあります。The liquid soap is next to the faucet. 液体石鹸は蛇口の隣にあります。カモ。カモ、カモ、ダック。湖にはたくさんのカモがいます。At the lake, there are a lot of ducks. 湖にはたくさんのカモがいます。カラス、クロウ。カラス。カラス。クロウ。このお寺にはいつもカラスが十羽います。They are always ten crows at this temple. このお寺にはいつもカラスが十羽います。ゴキブリ。コクロチ。ゴキブリ、ゴキブリ、コクローチ。ゴキブリはみんなの嫌われ者です。コクローチ is a hated by everyone。ゴキブリはみんなの嫌われ者です。カ、モスケイト、カ。カ、モスキート。カに刺されるとかゆい。It is itchy when you have mosquito bite. カに刺されるとかゆい。建設作業員。Construction worker. 建設作業員。建設作業員。Construction worker. 建設作業員は給料は高いがとても大変な仕事だ。You can earn a high salary as a construction worker, but it's really hard work. 建設作業員は給料は高いがとても大変な仕事だ。主婦。
Homemaker. 主婦。主婦。Homemaker. カリスマ主婦のキャラクター弁当が話題になっている。The charismatic homemaker character 弁当 has become a topic of interest. カリスマ主婦のキャラクター弁当が話題になっている。氷。アイス。氷。氷。アイス。夏はかき氷が食べたい。I want to eat shaved ice in summer. 夏はかき氷が食べたい。歴史。history. 歴史。歴史。歴史 history. 近現代の歴史に興味があります。I am interested in modern history. 近現代の歴史に興味があります。地理 Geography. 地理地理 Geography. 彼の専攻は地理で、副専攻は心理学です。He is a geography major with a minor in psychology. 彼の専攻は地理で、副専攻は心理学です。店 store. 店店 store. あっちのお店は高い。That store over there is expensive. あっちのお店は高い。市場。Market. 市場。市場。Market. 魚市場にはどの駅で降りればいいですか What station should I get off at for the fish market? 魚市場にはどの駅で降りればいいですか値段 Price 値段値段 Price 穀物の値段が急激に上がった The price of grain skyrocketed. 穀物の値段が急激に上がった。クーポン。クーポン。クーポン。クーポン。クーポン。クーポンを使うとお得です。It's save your money if you use coupons. クーポンを使うとお得です。通路。aisle。通路。通路。aisle。通路を開けてください。please clear the aisle。通路を開けてください。カバン、バック、カバン、カバン、バック。このカバンは私のです。This bag is mine. このカバンは私のです。写真、フォトグラフ。写真。写真。フォトグラフ。彼は撮った写真の中の一枚を L サイズのプリントで注文した。
he ordered a large size print of one of his photographs. 彼は撮った写真の中の一枚を L サイズのプリントで注文した。炭酸飲料、ソーダ。炭酸飲料、炭酸飲料、ソーダ。ルートビアは一番好きな炭酸飲料だ。ルートビア is my favorite kind of soda. ルートビアは一番好きな炭酸飲料だ。9番。Ninth。9番。9番。Ninth。9番テーブルにお客様を案内した。I showed the customers to the ninth table. 9番テーブルにお客様を案内した。10番。tenth。10番。10番。tenth。10番地区に中国市場があります。There is a Chinese market in the tenth district. 10番地区に中国市場があります。8番、eighth。8番、eighth。右から8番目の本を取ってください。Please pass me the eighth book from that right. 右から8番目の本を取ってください。ひげそり。shaving razor。ひげそり。ひげそり。shaving razor。使い捨てひげそり。disposable shaving razor。使い捨てひげそり。手拭い。wash cloth. 手拭い。手拭い。wash cloth. その少年は手拭いで顔を拭いている。The boy is drying his face with a wash cloth. その少年は手拭いで顔を拭いている。タオル、タオル、タオル、タオル、タオル。大きめのタオルはありますか ?Do you have a large towel? 大きめのタオルはありますかスプーン、スプーン。スプーン、スプーン、スプーン。スプーンを使います。I use a spoon. スプーンを使います。フォーク、フォーク、フォーク、フォーク。フォーク。ナイフとフォークを並べてください。Please lay out knives and forks. ナイフとフォークを並べてください。ナイフ。ナイフ。ナイフ。ナイフ。ナイフ。そのナイフを取ってくれませんか ?Could you pass me the knife? そのナイフを取ってくれませんか皿、プレイト。皿
さらさらプレイトマグロを一皿お願いします。One plate of tuna, please. マグロを一皿お願いします。八。B。八。八。B。八は蜂蜜を作ってくれる。Bees produce honey. ハチはハチミツを作ってくれる。アリ、アンチ、アリ、アリ、アンチ。アリは六本の足を持っている。アンチ have six legs. アリは6本の足を持っている。ヘビ、スネーク。ヘビ、ヘビ、スネーク。白ヘビはとても縁起がいい。White snakes bring good luck. 白ヘビはとても縁起がいい。牛乳、ミルク。牛乳、牛乳、ミルク。牛乳とチーズは乳製品です。ミルクとチーズは乳製品です。牛乳とチーズは乳製品です。デザイナー、デザイナー、デザイナー、デザイナー、デザイナー。デザイナーにはいろいろな種類があるが、私はファッションデザイナーだ。There are many kind of designers, but I'm a fashion designer. デザイナーにはいろいろな種類があるが、私はファッションデザイナーだ。芸術家、アーティスト。芸術家、芸術家、アーティスト。彼は多彩な芸術家です。He is a multi-talented artist. 彼は多彩な芸術家です。兵士、ソージャー、兵士、兵士、ソージャー。兵士たちは自分たちの国を守った。Soldiers protected their nation. 兵士たちは自分たちの国を守った。起業家。entrepreneur。起業家。起業家。entrepreneur。起業家は自分のアイディアで世界を変える。entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. 企業家は自分のアイディアで世界を変える。短編小説。short story。短編小説。短編小説。short story。私は短編小説しか読まない。I only read short stories. 私は短編小説しか読まない。フォルダー。フォルダー。フォルダー。フォルダー。フォルダー。その書類をフォルダーに入れました。
I put the documents in a folder. その書類をフォルダーに入れました。フライパン、フライパン、フライパン、フライパン、フライパン。フライパンで玉ねぎを炒めている。The onions are being sauteed in the frying pan. フライパンで玉ねぎを炒めている。まな板。cutting board. まな板。まな板。cutting board. 人参をまな板の上に乗せて。put the carrots on the cutting board. 人参をまな板の上に乗せて。流し。シンク。流し。流し。シンク。流しはほとんどいっぱいだ。The sink is almost full. 流しはほとんどいっぱいだ。ボール。ボール。ボール。ボール。ボール。ボール,ボールに卵を割り入れてくれない ?Could you crack an egg into the bowl for me? ボールに卵を割り入れてくれない出口。エキゼット。出口。出口。エキゼット。ここは出口専用なので入れません。This is an exit only, so you are not allowed to enter. ここは出口専用なので入れません。地図。マップ。地図。地図。マップ。地図をください。Please give me the map. 地図をください。スーツケース。スーツケース。スーツケース。スーツケース。スーツケース。このスーツケースは何キロありますか ?How many kilograms does this suitcase weigh? このスーツケースは何キロありますか観光客。トーリスト。観光客。観光客。トゥーリスト。観光客がいっぱいいる。There are many tourists. 観光客がいっぱいいる。政治学。politics。政治学。政治学。politics。専攻は政治学です。I major in politics. 専攻は政治学です。生物学。biology. 生物学。生物学。biology. 生物学は生物の研究です。Biology is the study of living organisms. 生物学は生物の研究です。科学。chemistry. 科学。科学。chemistry. 科学の授業で薬品を使って実験した。We did an experiment using chemicals in chemistry class. 科学の授業で
薬品を使って実験した。物理学、physics。物理学、物理学、physics。物理学はとても難しいです。physics is so difficult。物理学はとても難しいです。経済学、エコノミクス。経済学、経済学、エコノミクス。彼は去年、ノーベル経済学賞を受賞した。He won the Nobel Prize for Economics last year. 彼は去年、ノーベル経済学賞を受賞した。置く。put。置く。置く。put。このスペースには何を置くつもりですか ?What are you going to put in this space? このスペースには何を置くつもりですか思い出す。remember 思い出す。思い出す。remember 何も思い出せない。I don't remember anything. 何も思い出せない。持つ。hold. 持つ。持つ。hold. 片手で花瓶を持つのは危ない。it's dangerous to hold a vase with one hand. 片手で花瓶を持つのは危ない。ショッピングカート。ショッピングカート。ショッピングカート。ショッピングカート。ショッピングカート。ショッピングカートは空だ。The shopping cart is empty. ショッピングカートは空だ。ビニール袋。プラスティックバッグ。ビニール袋。ビニール袋、プラスティックバッグ。ソーセージが多すぎてビニール袋一枚に入らない。There are too many sausages to put in a plastic bag. ソーセージが多すぎてビニール袋一枚に入らない。コメディ、コメディ。コメディコメディコメディ彼らはコメディを見て笑っている。They are watching a comedy and laughing. 彼らはコメディを見て笑っている。小説。ノーベル。小説。小説。ノーベル。小説を読むのが好きです。I like reading novels. 小説を読むのが好きです。Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is Are you focusing on only one skill? The seven skills you'll need for language mastery. Are you the type of language learner that focuses on only one skill? 
like only speaking or only doing translation exercises, then you may eventually realize that your language isn't progressing as fast as you'd like. So in today's episode, you'll learn one, why most language learners plateau, two, the seven skills you'll need for language mastery, and three, how to practice the seven skills with our program. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Using Transportation Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to get around in your target language? You'll be able to. This new cheat sheet teaches you the must-know vocabulary and phrases, like where can I buy a ticket, how much is the train pass, and much more. Second, the Ultimate Guide to Beginner Language eBook. Want a free way to boost your vocabulary? With this new PDF eBook, you'll master over 500 beginner words and phrases, more than enough to start speaking the language with confidence. Third, can you talk about holiday accommodations in your target language? Learn how to say hotel, guest house, inn, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, most common ways to say sorry. Do you know all the ways to apologize in your target language? This one minute lesson will get them in your head, guaranteed. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. Are you focusing on only one skill? The seven skills you'll need for language mastery. Part one, why most language learners plateau. If you observe other language learners, you'll notice that many learners just want to speak and understand the language. And as a result, they focus only on speaking and nothing else. Then you have learners who like to start with reading, so they spend most of their time there. And then there are learners who do translation games and spend most of their time there. All of these are good ways to approach a language. But what happens is, learners that focus on speaking seem to speak well, but if you go outside of a topic they've practiced, they'll start struggling. Learners that spend most of their time reading are only good at reading and then wonder why they can't speak. And learners that have been playing translation games are good at translating, but don't understand real life speech. The point is, you'll be unbalanced. If you focus on one skill and skip out on the rest, you'll never become truly fluent, or you'll be able to speak on a few topics you know about, but that's it. But that's not enough for conversational fluency. So if you want to avoid this trap and become truly fluent, you should focus on seven language skills, speaking, listening, reading, writing, grammar, vocabulary, and culture. Part two, the seven skills you'll need for language mastery. Now, someone might ask, what's the point of reading if I just want to speak the language? The fact is, all skills complement and improve one another. For example, if you're practicing reading, you naturally pick up new words and grammar rules along the way, which will help you with speaking, because if you want to speak more, you'll need to know more words and grammar rules. Also, reading out loud can help with speaking. If you're learning grammar, this will help you with speaking, listening, reading, and writing because you'll need to be able to speak and use those grammar rules, understand them in written information and in speech, and use it in writing. With writing, again, you're reinforcing words and grammar rules that you'll also need for listening, speaking, and reading. With listening, there can be speaking involved if you shadow what you hear. You can also pick up words and reinforce grammar points as you listen. Then you can use those same words and grammar rules later on during speaking practice. All skills feed into each other. And with culture? With culture, you need things to talk about with native speakers, and culture is a great topic. Plus, in certain languages and cultures, you'll need to speak more politely to people who are older or more senior to you. So this involves learning vocabulary and grammar. There's also one more bonus to practicing all seven language skills. Learning all seven skills will actually help you learn the language much faster. Mixing up skills like this is called interleaving. Interleaving is a proven learning tactic where you use different forms of practice to master something. For example, if you're learning vocabulary, you can read it, then say it, write it out, study with flashcards, listen to a native speaker say it, and doing so will help you remember better instead of just reading the word five times and hoping it sticks. It probably won't. So let's recap. 
You should focus on the seven skills of language learning because one, you avoid being imbalanced, two, all of these skills feed into each other and improve your overall language, and three, it'll help you learn faster. Part three, how you practice the seven skills with our program. Now, if you wanna take your language to the next level, you'll need to incorporate all seven skills in your study routine. Speaking, reading, writing, listening, vocab, grammar, and culture. So, here's how you can practice each skill with our learning program. One of the most unique things about our program is that you can actually practice all seven skills with it. First, for speaking, shadow the conversations in our lesson dialogues. And if that's too hard, read the dialogues out loud and go slowly at your own pace. Use our voice recording tool to practice saying each line of the conversation. And you can send recordings of yourself to your Premium Plus teacher. For listening, simply take our lessons and listen to the conversations. You can also download the dialogue tracks and review the conversations without the translations. Also, be sure to take our listening comprehension lessons. For reading, listen to the audio and follow along with the lesson notes or transcript so that you don't miss a single word. You can also practice reading with our extensive reading books. For writing, write out the lesson dialogues and write out the words, phrases, and grammar rules that you come across. You can also try and create your own sample sentences and you can send them to your Premium Plus teacher for corrections. For grammar, you'll come across grammar rules in our lessons. Write the rules down, try and create your own sentences, and keep taking the lessons and keep on reading. For vocabulary, use our spaced repetition flashcards to master the words. And of course, write them down in a notebook, say them out loud, and save them in the word bank so you can come back to them to review later. And for culture, take our lessons. You'll pick up culture tips along the way. Check out our culture class lessons as well. You can do one skill a day, or you can also try all of them in one study session. Listen to the lesson. Repeat what you hear for speaking practice. Write out the dialogue. Review the vocabulary with the slideshow. Practice the grammar rules and note down the cultural tips. Or focus on two skills a day. Pair up listening and speaking. The next day, do reading and writing. And then vocabulary and grammar. And then culture. And again, you can study all seven of these skills with our program. So if you haven't done so yet, be sure to click the link below and sign up for a free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to write 1,000 words of your target language in five minutes a day with the Daily Dose Diary. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. One of the best ways to learn a language is with a native speaker. But what if you can't afford to take a class? Or what if you're too busy to learn on someone else's schedule? That's why with our program, you get access to your own teacher with a study tool called My Teacher. So you can learn with your own teacher at your own pace, anywhere, anytime. How does My Teacher work? You'll discover more in just a second. But first, to get access to our learning program and your very own teacher, click the link in the description and sign up for a Premium Plus account right now. What is My Teacher? My Teacher is a messenger tool that gives you access to your very own on site teacher. You'll find it in the bottom right corner of your screen. And if you're on the app, just tap on the My Teacher icon at the bottom. So, how do you take advantage of this powerful language tool? 1. Get your language assessed. With language schools, you take a level check test on the first day. And the same thing happens here. The moment you become a Premium Plus member, you'll take an assessment test so that your teacher can determine your level, understand your weak points, and design a personalized learning plan. You'll find the link to the test inside My Teacher. Once you're done with the test, two, interact with your teacher, ask questions, and get feedback. Getting feedback and corrections is one of the fastest ways to improve. So open My Teacher and start interacting with your teacher. 
The first thing we ask you to do is to send a self-introduction in your target language as a way to get started. And if you're not sure how, just ask your teacher. You can also ask them language questions, send your writing, practice conversations, and they'll also send you feedback and corrections. You can do this all at your own pace on any device. You can also... Three, send recordings of yourself speaking the language. Just record yourself and send an audio file or video over and get feedback from your teacher on your accent, pronunciation, and how to express yourself naturally like a native speaker. You can also take a picture of your writing for feedback. Four, improve your language skills nonstop with weekly assignments. Your teacher will also send you weekly assignments to test you on what you've learned and improve your language skills. Assignments cover speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So if you want to learn with your very own teacher at your own pace, then click the link in the description to sign up now and become a Premium Plus plan member today. You unlock our complete learning program, plus your very own teacher. Click the link in the description to sign up now. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.